I got the batteries in here. can see here 50C discharge rate and a 6S or 22 volts 6000 milliamp hour XT60 connector and here is the balance cable nice got two of them Two point seven, twenty two point seven, exact same voltage. Nice. So, uh, to charge them, I bought these two LiPo IMAX B6 LiPo chargers. Then, I placed them onto a single board, glued them together. So, I will be charging these two batteries side by side also changed the RC connectors to XT60 connectors and uh, also made it to a, a parallel connection to the uh, input power cable right here this is 11 to 18 volts to feed both of them at the same time alright so let's first set the voltage of the Supplier first. Remember that this is a 11 to 18 volts. So I'm gonna adjust this to around 17 volts or so. I like to be right before the limit. Okay, so good enough. So about 17 volts. Now let's hook it up to the charger. So this is the input connector. Positive right here and the negative right here. Okay, so this lipo charges are powered on. Now we want to go ahead and hook the batteries up. All right, so the power output of the first charger goes on right here. First battery connected, and then we take the balance lead and then we plug it to the 6s right here okay and we'll do the same thing with the second battery the output right here goes on to the battery and the balance lead on the 6s lead all right now we have that set up now we want to go ahead and charge and begin the charging go to the first charger right here and then we want to go ahead and select at how many amps we want to charge it okay how many s it is 6s 22 volts good okay then we long press battery checking hit enter to confirm now we're now charging the first pack moving now to the next pack same things already set long press checking 
enter to confirm. So, yep. So, we have a little problem. It's kind of rebooting. I don't know if it's a lack of power. So, a little bit of trouble having them charging at the same time because uh, this module right here cannot handle enough amps to charge both packs at the same time. So, I'm going to have to charge it at uh, maybe 1 amp. Let's try at 1 amp and see how it goes. Alright, then here. Alright, looks good. They're now pulling two amps, which uh, the module can easily handle. So we are good. It is just gonna take a little longer to charge them up because these are huge packs 6,000 milliamps each. So, yep, it's gonna take a while, but yeah.